We all care about our pets. Some of us even care more about our pet's health than our own health. The reality is we really want to make sure that they live a pain-free life. We want to make sure they live for a long time. So in this video, I want to talk about some interesting ways that CBD is starting to help out the life of our furry friends. So I want to start off with one particular study. The study was published in July of 2018 in a journal known as the Frontiers of Veterinary Science. Now what this study was looking at was overall the effect of CBD oil versus placebo for pain management. Well, the results ended up being pretty darn interesting. You see, what they found was utilizing what's called the Hudson Activity Score, they found that the dogs that ended up taking CBD ended up having much less overall pain and much more activity and ultimately more mobility as well. Now, the Hudson Activity Score is just a way that we can gauge uh, basically how a pet is feeling and their pain management based on questions that the owner is presented with. So sure, it's somewhat subjective, but when the responses are as stark as they are with this study, we know it's really working. You see, they saw that 80% of the dogs that were in the study had decreases in pain and increases in mobility. 80%, that is pretty darn astounding. Now here's the best part, no side effects whatsoever. Normally when a dog goes on some kind of anti-inflammatory or pain management drug, they end up having side effects. It's hard on their liver, it's hard on their kidneys, it's all kinds of things that they have to be careful of. So CBD is seemingly a pretty harmless way to get a good quality of life back. Now, how does this work? Well, the thing is, is dogs have the same CB1 and CB2 receptors in their bodies that we have in ours. And simply put, what that means is that when they take in CBD, their bodies end up producing more of the natural endocannabinoids. So when humans take CBD, we produce more of these naturally occurring endocannabinoids that help us feel better. They elicit bliss, they make us feel calm, but they also affect our inflammatory signals, inflammatory markers within the body, making it so that we have less pain. Same thing happens with dogs. Dogs have inflammation, and that inflammation can lead to joint pain. That inflammation can lead to disease. So the cool thing is, is that these endocannabinoids like andandamide that are produced when we have CBD coming in, actually stop some of the production of things like tumor necrosis factor 1-alpha and nuclear factor kappa B. So it makes it so that these dogs can modulate inflammation better without having to take a bunch of anti-inflammatories, but also target inflammation more at its chronic core, not just for pain, but at the cellular level too. Now we can take it one step further because there are some studies that start looking at the effects of CBD on seizures in dogs. Now, some of this is a little bit inconclusive, so I wanna go ahead and cut right to the chase. The fact is, is seizures are complicated. We don't know a lot of what happens with a seizure in a human body or in an animal body. It's just complicated, but what we do know is it's some kind of disruption of the electrical system. And we have concluded that there is some correlation with what is called a voltage-gated sodium channel. Okay, this voltage-gated sodium channels are channels that allow an action potential, like the potential to move, or the potential for energy, or potential for electrical current from the brain to actually get somewhere. So it's really important, but if we don't have a system that's properly functioning, like with our NAV 1.1 system, which is essentially the sodium-gated channel that transfers that energy, that's when we have issues. That's when seizures can occur. Basically, we have random surges of action potential and random surges of energy that should or shouldn't be there at a specific time. Well, dogs have this too. CBD has been shown to inhibit the NAV 1.1, NAV 1.1, meaning less instance for seizures to potentially occur. Now, it's so complicated because we don't really know how it's working. We can only hypothesize, but the fact is, we are seeing improvement in dogs with seizures. So it's simple. I mean, it's really a no-brainer when it comes down to it. Okay, we question things that we put in our bodies because there's so many bodies of research, but when it comes down to our animals, a lot of times we just throw it aside. We don't even think about it. But the research is there. The research that shows that dogs and cats can start feeling better if they utilize CBD in an efficient way. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper than being dependent on pharmaceuticals for your poor furry friend all the time. But as always, keep it locked in here with Octagon Biolabs, and I'll see you in the next video.